Hello and welcome back to more Bleach. I am here with my reaction to episode 139. Now in the last episode, Aizen was talking about a plan that they had discussed a month ago and that now was the time to put it into motion. So we have four Aran cars that have turned up and they've basically turned up right on top of our Soul Reapers and... Yeah, basically these ones are a lot stronger than what we have already dealt with from the sounds of it. Grimjow has been replaced. We have a new number six called Loopy, which is very easy for me to remember because that is my nickname. <laughs> so everywhere I go, like friends, family, I am Loopy. So there we go. Don't look too much into that for the reasons as to why. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe to my channel for all things anime and video games. And if you want to watch us, oh my god, I was going to say if you want to watch us doing Hot D. We've actually just finished that over on Susie and Stijo. And I don't know what the next series is, so ignore all of that. If you want to watch this unedited, make sure you head on over to my website, suzylou.co.uk. Or head on over to my Patreon, the link... It's in the description. I'm excited, it's all kicking off again. Uh, ultimately, Ichigo only has 11 seconds to defeat Grimjow. Grimjow has one less arm. Whether or not that makes him not as strong, I don't know, I have no idea. But I wanna know, like, so what is this plan? Is it just to come here and ruffle some feathers or? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense because the Hogyoku is only 50% done. So we're supposed to still very much be in our training arc, but it's been cut short. And what does he want with Urahime? Leave it alone. She'll slap you. And then Ichigo will come for you. He's very interested in what her power is. And, um... He's just nosy, like leave it alone. It's nothing to do with you, okay? Right, let's delve on into 139. I can't believe I've just noticed this. At the very start of this intro song, Cone is actually singing the, the song. I don't know how I never noticed that because like I usually sing along myself and I just happened to look over at the screen. And I was like, oh, Cone is like, da da da, <laughs> like doing all that. I don't know why it's funny to me. Stay hollow fight for exactly 11 seconds. I'll have to finish him by then. Oh, that was fast! Unlike the intro to this episode that was six and a half minutes long. I'm counting <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, what the hell was that? six, seven. Sure. Eight, I don't have time nine, to it to you. ten, eleven. <laughs> That's it, he's too late already! He's too late already, I counted to eleven. Ooh. Oh my god, that's it. I think Grimjow just got like put to bits. <laughs> ah! What kind of attack was that? It was so refreshing. I can't take on an Espada without using my Bankai. Even if I use Gente Kaijo. Yeah, but it's never good when you use your Bankai though, Kitsugaya. Shut the hell up! <sighs> Will you please try to talk some sense into your friend? He doesn't seem to understand that he's about to die. Imagine saying that to Ikaku. Who do you think you are? This is so annoying. Like, you might look all innocent in that, okay? You might think you're strong under all that. No. It's so tedious fighting them this way. I'd rather take all four of them on at once. What? Are you for real just because you're the new number six? No need to be so cocky. Kitsugaya, put him down. He's going to release. Don't let it happen! Get him, get him, get him! Bankai! Yes! Kai Karen Yarinmaru! 
You don't need to use your bonkai for too long, okay? I promise. Strangle. Trepadora. Strangle? <laughs> oh god. Please don't strangle the captain, okay? <laughs> Shut up, Yami. This isn't your place, okay? I'd have expected more damage from your full release. <laughs> that was nicely done. I honestly thought you weren't going to be able to block that attack. I have to admit, I'm a little surprised. Well, you still think you can take on all four of them at once, you cocky little loopy? I'll have to watch my step. <laughs> stop smiling like that, you're freaking me out! Would you be able to stop it if it were eight times stronger? <laughs> what?! <laughs> oh my god, are you kidding me?! Get out of the way, everyone! Oh no! No! Oh god. Four against one would have been much better odds. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I meant four against eight. Okay, slightly unfair, but there's other people on the way to this battle, right? Ichigo, take care of Grimjo like really, really quickly, and it'll be fine. Be her and my little football player Kitsugaya. I thought everyone had been notified that the Espada have appeared. Yeah, well, I did hear about that, but I trained so hard that I exhausted my spiritual pressure. We're massaging him right now. This will help. You idiot! <laughs> What's the matter with you? Well, they can't exactly do anything if he's tired, Rukia. Do you want him to just walk to his death? So I'll go and you stay here and rest. Understand? Uh, I can't. Yes, that's what? right. It's just as Renji explained to you. But it seems to me that you are nearly exhausted as well, Renji. I wonder, and I, I think I said this in the last episode, I feel like he feels quite responsible for a lot of things that's going on. But he likes to take the back seat a lot. So get out there, Urahara. I want to see what you can do. I want to see you take down number six. <sighs> I mean, come on, man. It's been way longer than 11 seconds. It's only been a month. What the hell did you do to yourself? I got good, buddy. Oh. I already told you. I don't have time to explain. This is the longest 11 seconds of my life, okay? I'm actually surprised that not more of the holified people would get in on this fight right now. Oh, watch out! He's not done yet. Oh, it's too intense, you guys. I don't know why, but I feel like because Grimjow lost his arm, I kind of like him a wee bit. I don't know. Don't know. Nice, nice. Okay. Still stronger than you. Where's he gone? Oh! Oh! I'm just so surprised. Maybe he's not using a certain power after 11 seconds, but he can keep the mask on? I don't know. He's like Neo from the Matrix now. So fast. It's over, Green Gel. Oh! Oh. I knew it! I knew it was not gonna be long enough for the fight. I told you! My mask. Yeah, it's gone! Idiot. You're not strong enough for this just yet. You should have stayed in training! <laughs> Moron. Did he honestly think he could do it in 11 <laughs> seconds? Talk about overconfident. Like, you fought Grimjow before! You know what he's all about! I have to admit, you did some damage. But there was never any doubt of the outcome. You uh -oh. were no match for me! Oh no! What are you doing to Hana or somebody? Okay. Oh, it's killing me, man. The back and forth, I can't take it. 
Resisting is useless. Oh my god. Right, too far. You've hurt my lady. Too far. You guys are too pathetic for words. Are you sure you're really officers in the 13 court guard squads? How lame. Really? You bastard. I feel like we need more of a plan than just kind of running at them and hoping. I'm bored. Loopy's taking them all. Now what am I supposed to do? Just meditate, Yami. That's all you need to do. Just meditate. <sighs> but what is your mission, though? Were you just coming here to, like, attack the Soul Reapers? <sighs> oh god, he's gonna crush it. Oh! Let it free! Wonderwise! <laughs> no? Okay. Let it free! It's gonna eat it. Oh! oh. oh. He's just... He's not with it, bless him. He's not on this planet. Could you be any more repulsive? Why, you... I'm gonna... Yumi Chica's never getting over this one. You're so ugly, Loopy. Yes, indeed. You have definitely got it going on. <laughs> you are so not even in her league, honey. Yo! I wonder how you'd look if I punched you full of holes. Don't go here! Don't punch these full of holes! Whew. Oh, man! Well, looks like I made it just in time. Yes, you saved the boobies! <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have time to properly introduce myself. But now I do. In no way. Nice. Only he may no way. Whew. Listen, we all watch for Rangiku's boobies, okay? So Urahara has done us all a favor. Be careful. Thank you for everything you've done. Goodbye. She better not turn up for this. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay, so I have this theory about Urahime that I'm like, what if their plan is to take her? To get her power out of her? I don't know. During this past month, I feel like I've gotten stronger. Once I get there, I know I can help them. So hang on, Ichigo. I'm coming. I mean, Ichigo's kind of struggling just now, so I don't know what Urahime thinks that she may do. The uh -oh. Soul Society's incompetence never ceases to amaze me. Uh-oh. They just don't seem to understand that a person is most vulnerable when they're traveling. This, I was right! I was right! Oh my god! The plan is to distract everyone and they're gonna go for Urahime! Oh no! Oh god! I don't think she's strong enough against him! It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Yo! Wonder wise? No! Stay out of this! Don't take this the wrong way, but your friend seems to be a little odd. Ah. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh my god! A little odd and a little overpowered. You guys are not going to be strong enough to protect her. She should just run. The one from before. Yeah, do the right thing and get out of there, girl. Or, I mean, redemption? You know, get your revenge. Although it is convenient that the restrictive currents here have been frozen. <sighs> it's not in my nature to burst in like this, but I thought that we needed to talk. We have just fallen straight into their trap. I can't believe it. We're such idiots. You said you wanted to talk. No. no! <gasps> oh my God, his arm. What is it with them in the left arm? So Ted Kishun. <laughs> Get out of here. Run while you still can. You might want to protect him. He's just going to swipe him. Yo, look at the size of that. Damn, she has got stronger. I must say that's quite an impressive ability you possess. 
She's gonna 1v1 him! She's gonna win! Now come with me, little girl. Oh, no, you've gone too far. Little girl? Eh. If you say anything other than that, people will die. I don't mean you. I'm talking about those who are closest to you. That's it, man. She has to go and she's gonna go because she wants to save everyone. Make no mistake, little girl. This is not a negotiation. It's an order. Oh my god. They're gonna take her and we are not strong enough to go after Aizen just now. So she is stuck for months. He dispatched me here with orders to bring you back unharmed. <laughs> Say this one more time. Come with me, little girl. God, ew. I have to tell you guys, um, I had this guy when I was younger and uh, he used to like come over to our house because he was friends with my brother. He was such a douche, right? And he used to always just call me an annoying little girl. So now it's like whenever I hear someone be like, little girl, I I want to attack him. I'm just like, Bleh! just makes me so angry. That aside, kind of seen that coming. Kind of seen that coming. I mean, I think I even mentioned it in the last episode. And also at the end of the filler that I just watched, Aizen mentioned her again and mentioned wanting her power. So I was trying to figure out like, why are they attacking everybody just now? And now it, it makes perfect sense. So they're gonna take her and everyone else knows that they are not strong enough to just like burst on in there and get her back which kind of leaves her you know stranded basically and Aizen can do whatever the hell he wants I'm noticing a theme though in this show <laughs> they like to take the women don't they they take Rukia away and then they're gonna take Orohime away they're just trying to like make Ichigo as angry as possible and if that is what you're trying to do then it's working basically I think that I just kind of feel like Udahara saw this coming. Bearing in mind that he's probably on a mental wavelength when it comes with Aizen because of the, the Hogiyoku and things that happened between them in the past, that maybe he's just kind of thinking along the same lines where he's like, you know, her power is different and she's a human, she's not even a soul reaper. Um... And he was just kind of thinking we need to keep her safe and keep her out of this if we can. And unfortunately, we uh, we all got sloppy. Or shall I say the Soul Society got sloppy in that respect. And typical Urahime, like she would have wanted to go back anyway because she would want to help her friends. But she should have stayed put. She just, she should have carried on her training, you know. Never mind. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye.